Hello, this is Heidi. I have a neuroscience of awareness blog. And today I'm going to be talking about your sea slug brain, which is 20,000 neurons. And it's based on Judson Brewer's research. He wrote a book called The Craving Mind, Some Cigarettes to Smartphones to Love, How We Get Addicted and Why. And he says that when you do any kind of addictive behavior, that it's equivalent to a sea slug because it only requires three cells. It's called trigger behavior reward. And that we are homo sapiens sapiens. We have 86 billion neurons and we can think about thinking and have executive function. And I'm always talking about response flexibility. So I'm gonna show you a couple uh, PowerPoint slides and then we'll close this up. But the idea is just not to have sea slug brain more than anything else. So you can see here, you could have a sea slug with 20,000 neurons, or you can think about thinking and wedge in new behaviors. So if you are, it's around the holiday time now, having any kind of cravings, uh, what you can do is be like, I'm not gonna be a sea slug, I'm gonna wedge in new things. So we call that, we call that response flexibility, putting pause between impulse and action. And the way, you know, Judson Brewer, he created three programs based on all this research. One is called Unwinding Anxiety. The one is Eat Right Now. And another is Craving to Quit, which is for cigarette smoking. And the Eat Right Now is for overeating. And the Unwinding Anxiety is about anxiety. It's all based on this research. And what you can do is you can pause, cultivate response flexibility by the mindful awareness practice that I talk about. Anything that helps you grow your prefrontal cortex, which I've said in other videos, the two things that grow eight of the nine functions are meditation, that mindful awareness practice, and where you have a securely attached relationship with yourself in a way that's meditation, and then externally having securely attached relationships, you know, basically a reciprocal relationship where you feel heard. So those are the two things that grow your prefrontal cortex. And that counterbalances sea slug brain. So I think that's enough today. And I'll be back next week.